Hello students, today we will be going over 5.2b. This is page 111 in your green packet. One step inequalities with multiplication and division. So our objective, I can solve one step inequalities with multiplication and division. So we start off with a series of true or false things here. Four is less than 15, is that true or false? That's true, four is less than 15, okay. Then we multiply both sides by 7. 4 times 7 is 28. Is 28 less than, let's see, what's 15 times 7? We'll take our handy-dandy calculator here. 15 times 7, 105. Is 28 less than 105? You might say, why, yes, it is, Miss Rupert, so that one's true. Okay. Now... We multiply both sides by a negative 1. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Is that less than 15 times negative 1 is negative 15? So, in other words, would you rather have a $4 loss or a $15 loss? I think we'd rather have a $4 loss. Is negative 4 less than negative 15? No. That is a false statement right there. So... Next, we on, go on to this. Is negative 8 less than 15? Yeah, that's true. Now, if I multiply by 7 on both sides, is negative 56 less than, what was 15 times 7? 105. Yes, it's still a true statement. Next, we're going to multiply by negative 1. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. Is that less than 15 times negative 1 is negative 15? So an 8-yard gain or $8 gain or $15 loss is 8 less than negative 15? No, so that one's a false statement. Okay. And then our final one, I'm multiplying by negative 4. Negative 8 times negative 4 is 32. Are you able to see that okay? Is less than 15 times negative 4. Positive less than negative. That would be never. So this is a false statement as well. Okay. So the question is, what happens when you multiply both sides by a negative number? That was here. Multiplied by a negative number. And here. Multiplying both sides by negative 1. And here, multiplying both sides by negative 4. What happens? The inequality changes. So we can write that down. The inequality changes. It is no longer true. Okay. So when you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign. Actually, I'm going to write it over here. Inequality sign. So in other words, if it was this way, you have to flip it to that way. If it was this way, you have to flip it to that way. Okay? So hopefully you could see that okay. Next, we'll go on to doing some examples.
So we're going to go ahead and solve these problems. Number one, negative 4x is greater than or equal to 8. So again, we can pretend this is just an equal sign. Now to solve for x, this is negative 4 times x. It's not, a, it's not a subtraction sign. It's negative 4 times x. So we divide, because it's multiplication, by a negative number. And again, when you divide by a negative number, you must switch the sign. So instead of greater than, it's going to become less than. And 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So then we put negative 2 here. This says more ink. This takes more ink. This means shade. It's pointing to the left. We shade to the left. So x is less than negative 2. Okay, we go on to number 2 over here. It's negative 9 times x is less than or equal to 81. So it's divide by negative 9. x, oh, I divided by negative. I must switch the sign. 81 divided by negative 9 is 9. Greater than or equal to, color 9, shaded to the right. Okay, so those are a couple of division by negatives. Now we're going to multiply by a negative. See how this is x divided by negative 9? Again, this is number 3. So to get x by itself, I do the inverse operation, so I'm going to times by negative 9 and times by negative 9. So x, I times by a negative, so I have to switch the sign. 27 times 9. We get our handy dandy calculator. 27 times 9, make sure it's negative, equals negative 243. So x is greater than negative 243. So then we go ahead and put negative 243. We have to decide open or close dot. Less ink here means less ink here, shaded to the right. And that's it. Okay. Over here, we're going to solve for n, so we multiply by 11. Multiply by 11. Now, there's a little bit of a trickster here. The number I multiply by on both sides is not negative, so I do not switch the sign. I can cross that out in greater than or equal to. This may be negative, but this is the one I multiplied on both sides by, so I do not change the sign. So n is greater than or equal to negative 55. Open or close dot. Going to be closed dot shaded to the right. Okay. Now we're going to jump over to the next page. And I'm going to do one of them that I thought was a little bit of a trickster one. Right here, number nine. Negative V is greater than or equal to seven. Now, if there's nothing in front of the variable, this is going to be a one. So we're going to divide, because it's negative 1 times v, divide by a negative 1, divide by a negative 1. Do we switch the signs? Let's take a vote on it. Pause the video. OK, if you voted to switch the sign, you are correct. v is going to be less than or equal to a negative 7. OK, so for our number line, negative 7, closed or open dot. Closed dot, shaded to the left. Okay. All right, students, you can get the rest of this. You rock.